The fire community suffered a tragic loss this last year when a firefighter was killed by a falling snag. This event was a sobering reminder of a serious hazard that we work under on a regular basis. The Incident Response Pocket Guide addresses the concern we have for snags and hazard trees under the section called Hazard Tree Safety. Please refer to this as we go back to the 2003 fire season and listen to a division supervisor that was on the B&B &B complex in Oregon. He's going to talk about an injury he had to deal with regarding hazard trees. Yesterday uh, we had an incident where, where um, an individual was, was working and, and uh, mopping up uh, in this division, Division Delta, and, and he was mopping up under a tree that it was a fork tree. Um, uh, it had about a, a five inch top on it at the fork. And, and the fork, one side of the fork had burned out, the other side was still standing. And the other side was about three inches in, or so in diameter. So, um, and, and that tree, that side of that fork, while he was working on that tree, when he was working, he apparently jarred the tree somehow or, or something happened and make that, make that fork uh, kick out of that other side of that fork kick out. And, and it, it, it hurt his back, he hurt his head, neck, and back. Um, um, and it knocked him down and he had some, some uh, real severe pain in his right leg. Um, you know, oftentimes when, when, when people and crews go look in the forest and they're they looking for, they always talk about hazards in a general sense, it's, 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 it's not the big thing that's going to kill you, it's the little things, in my opinion, because most folk can see big things. But, but mo most people walking through the woods can't see the little things that, that fall, that's falling out of a 120-foot duck fur. The things that, that we try to look for while we're out here, especially in the mop-up stage because we're going in, in the interior, is stuff, stuff like this where you, when, you, when you're working around this um, and you, and you got to go mop up, it's, it's kind of hard to, um, uh, it, when people get, get really focused on what they're doing as opposed to um, uh, looking up. And, and if you got wind, like we had east winds today, this stuff blows out of a tree and, and you may hear it and you may not. Uh, and a lot of times when you're mopping up, uh, uh, you know, you knock stuff out of trees just by drawing with all that pressure from the water. And, 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 if, and if the wind's blowing and, and the tree's been um, uprooted for some reason during the fire or ate out uh, what they call um, a cat face where you can't see, can't see it because you're on the backside of it, and, and that's, that's a problem. But So we try to make sure that all the crews are, are aware of, of the hazards that are out here and how to look for them and how to recognize them so, um, so that we won't continually have the accidents like we had yesterday. You know, I referenced this, uh, this book here that talks about uh, hazard tree indicators and, and, and environmental conditions and, 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 and tree defect and, and, and bug kill trees so that, so that even um, a person that doesn't really have a whole lot of uh, knowledge in terms of timber uh, or trees uh, they can uh, they can recognize when they have when they in a hazardous situation or dealing or next to a hazardous tree. Once a uh, hazard tree is identified, uh, uh, some people say uh, you get a tree link and a half away, but but I but I take out the half and I say two tree links away. So to to in order to be certain that that people are not in harm's way, because you know uh, it could hit a tree. Uh, 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 what they call a widowmaker could hit a tree and bounce off another tree and get kicked uh, uh, the way you are. You're thinking you're not going, you're not in, in that in that path of that uh, that widowmaker, and it, it could get you. So I I feel like two tree links away is is a fair distance, uh, a safe distance for for one to uh, be able to stand back and watch and see what happens. For this next exercise, we're going to show you a video clip of a burned out area with numerous hazard trees. Let's assume that you've just been asked by your supervisor to mop up this section. Now watch closely because after viewing this clip you're going to be asked to get into your groups and explain whether or not you would accept this assignment and if so how are you going to mitigate the obvious hazards. Assume that your supervisor has just approached you and wants this area to be mopped up 100 percent because of its close proximity to residential houses. This video clip was taken the previous day and your supervisor is showing it to you so that you'll have a good idea of what you're walking into. 
He notes that the weather forecast calls for variable southwest winds between 3 and 5 miles per hour with occasional gusts up to 10 miles per hour. Now let's get into our groups and complete the exercise in your student workbook.